All right, so I'm working on building a, a laser uh, engraver um, just as a, as a fun project with the kids. And one of the aspects that I wanted to make sure was that it, we were all reasonably safe. I didn't want anybody losing any, any eyes or any vision. Um, and so we got the Creality um, laser tent. So this thing is, is quite large. So depending on the size of your laser or whatnot, this may or may not you know, be the, the one version for you, but they do make some different sizes. So I'm just gonna set that aside. I just wanted to show how quick and easy it goes together. So you've got these, <clears throat> these pieces here, um, they just snap together with the little detent, and then you've got corner brackets. So essentially it's just a big cube. So you take this and these go into corner brackets. <clears throat> And then this, check here. So it's not, it's not something you'd probably want to take. A slightly bigger workbench, apparently. It's not something I'd think you'd want to take um, up and down a lot. It's not again hard. It's just that there is a few pieces to it. So um, again, you'd probably want to make sure that you have somewhere for it to live. Um, I don't think it's something that you're going to do in a minute and, you know, put back away. So, so essentially you build this. So that builds us our frame. So again, your laser kind of has to sit inside of this footprint. Um, <clears throat> and so for those wondering, the inside is 27 inches or 685 millimeters and it should be by the same. So yeah, 27 inches by 685 or 685 millimeters. So as long as your laser um, fits inside those dimensions, uh, you can get it to fit inside this tent. So then you put up these vertical pieces. Um, height wise, you should be okay. Most lasers are not that tall and this does give you a fair bit of space um, to work with that way. And then you've got the corner brackets. And it's all just friction fit, but it does make a pretty sturdy enclosure when it's all said and done. I'm just going to back this up just a little bit more and maybe raise this up a little bit. Okay, so then I'm going to put this on. So the corner pieces are just a um, molded plastic piece. And again, just a bit of friction fit. <clears throat> and then the last one. So then once you've got all of those in, just kind of give everything a press, make sure it's all seated. Just turn this a little bit, make sure that one's seated. Okay, so then once it's all seated, you just take the tent itself and fit it over top of the frame. And again, it's just a big square, so not really a big deal. Which way you do it, and it should fit reasonably snugly. Of course. Let me pull down. If you had a second set of hands, it probably wouldn't hurt either. <clears throat> okay. So then that gives you 
a giant box. Um, so then in your giant box, you've got zippers here. And the lad allows you, it actually goes, it's pretty cool. It goes, let's raise this up here. The zipper goes all the way on the top. So you can literally just open, you know, the whole thing back, right? So it gives you lots of access to, uh, to work on your machine, to get in there. Um, you can see on the inside, once you get everything on, that there is little um, Velcro pieces. So once it's all, you've got it all in there, you can take these little Velcro pieces and they go under the bar and then just back up on itself. Again, that just adds some, some structure to it, which is pretty cool. Um, and it means that it makes it easy to move around uh, without it falling apart. Everything's going to kind of hold hold itself in. So I'll do those up later and we'll do them all up now. Uh, but a couple of things I did want to go over is the kit itself is, is pretty complete. It does come with a fan. And there we go. So there's a, a fan here. Um, oh, sorry, I guess this is the fan. So this is this fan is a 5 volt DC fan and allows you to run on USB. So you just need a USB connection, um, USB, you know, power plug, whatever, uh, to run this little exhaust fan. And then they give you a section of exhaust tubing so that, there we go. So you've just got a, a set of flex, you know, a, a piece of flex hose and then an adapters to fit it uh, to the enclosure. So essentially what's going to happen is the fan gets bolted on. You can see in the back here, I'll turn it just a little bit. This fan. You can see in the back there is little cutouts. So there's a couple little access holes. So you can vent out one side or the other. And that is stitched and, and um, well, well made. So essentially the fan will attach to that. You'll have your tubing running out to you know, a window or to a filter to whatever you want, but just something to exhaust that, um, that air that's in there. And again, you want that to go outside away from you and where you're working. The other thing is on here, if I can get in there, there's a couple little grommet holes here. Um, so these are reinforced on the outside with plastic. There's one on that side and one on this side. And these are just reinforced little rubber grommets uh, to pass cables and connections through. So things like your laptop cable to run light burn or, or whatnot. Um, and then you've got a, a pocket. I'm not sure if there's one on the other side. Uh, no, just on the one. So you've got a little pocket for accessories or whatnot you want to keep in there. And, and overall, like I said, then you flip this back. Pull it over. Zip it up. And like I said, the nice thing is that with that zipper, you know, I can zip it, you know, I can zip it this far, you know, I can zip it like that and just flip it over. And now it, you know, I have access to the machine. Um, you know, you could easily put some LEDs in here. Um, if you wanted to add some light, um, you could just zip tie them to the top bar, basically. Um, so I think it's it's quite versatile. I looked at building something out of wood and whatnot, and I mean it wouldn't have been hard, but for the cost of materials and time, um, you know, this is perfectly perfectly useful, and uh, and already includes um, the laser shield, which at least in Canada I was having a hard time sourcing. Um, so this again, once we kind of set up our job and get it ready. Um, instead of, you know, the boys and, and I, if we're working in the garage, all needing to make sure we're wearing safety glasses at all times or worried that somebody comes to uh, check and see what we're doing, we just close up the enclosure and we don't have to worry about it. So I am eager to, uh, to get that set up and, and give it a try. Um, and I think it will go a long way in just keeping us all safe. But yeah, I really like this Creality uh, enclosure. It's nice and lightweight. So easy to move, um, rigid enough that, you know, it's, it's going to stay put once you have it there. Um, yeah. So overall, I'm, I'm really impressed with the, how quickly it goes together and just kind of the features of it. 
again, just one extra layer of safety. And I think that's important when working with, with lasers and, and whatnot that can damage your eyes. So thanks for reality.